Happy New Year! The ladies are celebrating a year of bringing messages of empowerment, sharing personal moments of enlightenment, a variety of great guests, and of course, their continued support of body positivity and self-love. On today's show, take a walk down memory lane with the original Ladies of the Nest, co-founders Sharon and Crystal. In keeping with New Year's resolutions, we have some helpful ideas on getting a jump start on your fresh start, including an interview with Dr. Deanie Leon Robbins, owner of Inner Health Center, about getting healthy starting with colon hydrotherapy, and some great exercise tips from the ladies to keep you toned. There's a lot going on, but make sure you watch till the very end. We have a big surprise in store. Happy anniversary and welcome the ladies of the nest, Sidia, Shavandalin, Tamia, and guest host Sharon. Take it away, ladies. Well, happy new year and welcome to Ruben's Nest. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! We sincerely hope that you all have started off your New Year with a bang and things are looking good for you and I've seen lots of things in social media talking about you know 2019 is my year. I think we say that every year. Every year. year. Yeah, every, year. <laughs> every year is our year. But Hopefully 2019 is going to be better for each and every one of you. I know I'm hoping for some really great things. Some good stuff has already begun to happen. Yes. So, you know, it's, it's wonderful. So on our last show, mm -hmm. which I thought was one of our better shows, if yeah. I must say we so myself, <laughs> we had fun. We really did. It was great. It was wonderful. And the like only thing up? I know, <laughs> it, who doesn't like dress up and who didn't like all the fun stuff that we brought out and all our little goodies, mm -hmm. we had a guest host which was Nicole, which Nicole, thank you so much, Style Vixen, thank for you. coming on and being with us. But today, we have another face, and this one's very super special, <laughs> especially to me. OG? Um, that's right, OG. Thank you, thank you. This is Sharon. Hi. Yes. Sharon is one of the original founders of Rubenes. You know, when we started Ruben's Nest, uh, many, many about years 20 ago. Years ago. About 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Right. Yeah, right. You know, um, we just had some, you know, wonderful times. You know, we've gotten to know each other. And who knew that 20 plus years later, we'd still be close. <laughs> Actually, go. we realized that Sharon and I are living <laughs> parallel lives. <laughs> Interesting how that works out. Okay. <laughs> it, really is, it really is, you know. Um, and and you know, when I met her, I instantly liked her. We we okay. took an we instant just, liking it, to one another. Yeah, it was yeah, just an did. instant boom, click, bond. And in talking, we realized we came from you know same kind of family, same kind of upbringing. Um, living in the South Bay, it was wonderful. It was great, you know, and. Things that I did at certain ages. Because she's like my big sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sharon, Sharon did the same, experience the same yes. thing. So it's been an interesting, interesting road that we've traveled. And we're going to talk about uh, a little more about Ruben Nest, Ruben's Nest as we go forward. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have with us on camera uh, Crystal, who is the third member of what is it called a triad <laughs> a triad <laughs> triad yeah yeah the Ruben's nest so it'll be fun and it's going to be great so i had amazing holidays my son had told me that he was going to be going to utah and there was the possibility of me being all by, all by myself <laughs> well it turned out that none of us were able to go but nicole had the greatest idea that we would spend Christmas you know, at Universal. I had the best time. It was fantastic. My son and I are Harry Potter fans. Mm -hmm. And so we went to Hogwarts and Hogsmeade is the town. Oh, yeah. And I'm telling you, they spent buku bucks yeah. on this place. Yeah. Fabulous. I loved it. And we had dinner 
Christmas dinner at the Three Broomsticks. Mm. When I tell you the food was <laughs> phenomenal, I mean, I can't stop talking about mm. how phenomenal the food was. Oh, it was goodness. so, so good. I've heard a few times. Yeah. You know, I haven't heard <laughs> Three Broomsticks. I have a season pass. Now so she says next it. time. <laughs> now she tells <laughs> it. Hundreds of dollars. <laughs> hundreds of dollars later. <laughs> well, you should have called me. I didn't even know you were going on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. She didn't tell me the I didn't I didn't even okay, know. Okay, it's not that bad. There you go. But you, you got that really well. <laughs> yes, and hundreds yes. of dollars right. later. Right. <laughs> I probably would have only been able to save you 15% off with the, with the Well, but whatever. 15% yeah, is better than 0%. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. yeah, so, but we did. We had a great time. New Year's was a little sadder, a little more bittersweet for me because um, my fur baby, uh, Oreo, who was my heart and I loved mm -hmm. so much, um, crossed the Rainbow Bridge uh, at 11.45 uh, p.m., New Year's Eve 2017 and just you know my heart just shattered into a million pieces and I've talked about that so at 11:45 this New Year's Eve you know the waterworks the tears were flowing because I just was remembering my baby mm -hmm. and um, you know it, it, it was just you know hard moving past the hurt but I'm healing yeah the following day though uh, one of my roommates brought home the cutest little French bulldog. Oh, oh she's three oh. months old. Her name was Penny. Oh, so cute, so sweet. We love her, baby. Oh my God! And she brought her, you know, thinking it might be therapeutic for me, considering, you know, mm -hmm. and the sweetest little pup did, you know, did same thing that Oreo would do, which is, you know, he'd hop up, he'd get on my chest, he. You know, lick my face, and then he'd snuggle and oh, he'd go to sleep. The snuggle part. So yeah. Oh. So it was really it was it was what I call my Oreo moments mm -hmm. where I have these interactions where I feel his presence. You know, not a lot of people don't get it, but if you have a furry baby, mm, you understand. understand. Yeah. You right. understand yeah. right. that you yeah. know you have these moments um, interacting with other dogs, animals. Yes that you feel the presence of your own, mm -hmm. you know, you know, as if they're speaking through them to you. Mm -hmm. So I know right. my baby's okay, but, oh, you yeah. know, it was, it was, it was uh, touching, but was and still. You, and you will be too. I know, yes. I know I will. Too. I know, yeah. I know. 2019, the heart is healing. Yes. So who knows what, you know, the Lord has in store with bringing me another furry baby. We'll see. Yeah. So. Yes. yes. So, Sharon, how was your Christmas? I know you had a rough 2018, especially the latter part. I did. I had surgery October 10th. Um, there were some complications. Um, it uh, Around Christmas time, I was really kind of turning the corner from it. But it still was. It was different this year. I didn't pull out the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. put out any decorations this year. Mm -hmm. When I went shopping, it was just everything. I was taking it slow. So um wasn't my normal holiday, but I got through it, though. Mm -hmm. You got through it. I'm glad you got through it. Got through it. Through it. Oh, yeah. And you're here. Yeah. As, well, oops. <laughs> and, you know, we almost lost this girl. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, this is my running buddy, and I prayed, and I told the Lord, I said, you know what? The journey's not it's over. Not time. It's not The time. journey's no. not over, no. so you got to touch her and heal her. So you're our gift. Not at all. Thank you're you. our Thank gift. You. Our you, gift. Ladies. So yes. it was really, it was, uh, it was a blessing. Even though I know you were, you know, it's hard after have surgery like that. You know, to kind of feel right. uppy and you know, perky and. Well, I think know. the surgery itself, yeah. it if all had gone well, would have been. I, I would have been up in it, but yeah. sometimes things you can never predict. So no, this is true. Yeah. Things happened, and I was able to, to come out of it. So yeah. that's the important I'm here part. Here and yes. and yes. you know, already enjoying 2019. So. Awesome. All right, all right. And that's the best part. So. 
Good. So, Miss Siobhan, what about you? What's oh, your your house man. full of children? <laughs> Chilling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, my holidays were amazing. Um, I did receive my Christmas wish. So, I was all able right. to spend Christmas with all of my family. That's great. Which, Wonderful. deep down in my heart, that's what I really, really wanted. So, I was excited about that. That's good. Um, for New Year's Eve, um, I went to my cousin's party, which was really fun. Oh, good. Right. So, so, yeah. All so, right. I jumped all on right. to my cousin's Wonderful. party. And he is such a hard worker. I mean, he put together this um, amazing party, and it was a successful party. Um, and then Christmas, or I'm sorry, New Year's Day, I got the opportunity to sit in the grandstands of the Rose Parade. Oh, wow. At the beginning. Really? Yes. Oh, really? Really? Okay. Oh, and it was we so exciting. This? Now, out of all the years I've lived in Pasadena, yeah. never had I ever sat in the grandstand. That's Awesome. Uh, yeah, and then we went to breakfast. Uh, my mm -hmm. friend and I, Celine, which um, got the tickets for us. Um, her husband purchased it for us. Oh, I was sweet. so grateful to her. Hi, Celine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we can have her on the show too. She's yeah. fabulous. All right. Uh, and then after that, I got an opportunity to go to the game as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Okay. You really are Okay. Yes, right. and at the game, uh, it was all of my family again, so I just warmed my heart to bring in the new year with my family, That's and good. we yes. all had such a great time. So That's wonderful. This year is starting off... Right. Yeah, and and new high. experiences too. Yeah. So that's how I'm expecting the rest of the year. New experiences, positivity, go. and elevation. There you go. I like that. I like that. Awesome. So, so okay, Tamia, so, how about you? Well, for me, it was a quiet Christmas day. I spent the majority of it at home, just relaxing. And then, let's say about five o'clock that evening, got dressed, went to a family's house. Okay. And remember, my Christmas wish was just, I wanted it to be one of those days or those evenings where you don't want to go home. And literally, family was like, no, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> and Christmas, and don't go magic home. You, know, you can stay here. Yes. And you know, we put it out there and we got what we wanted. Yeah, girl. And my Christmas was beautiful. The food was delish. Okay. Family was there. Um. And then, Chris, uh, was it New Year's Eve? I do my norm. At church, bringing it in. There you go. And it was awesome. The atmosphere was awesome. Uh, praise and worship. The message that went forth was awesome. Mm -hmm. And one of the words that I have for 2019 is destination greatness. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so my 2019 will be great. That's yeah. awesome. Greatness. I love it. I love that. That's great. <laughs> so I hope all of you had wonderful Christmases and if they weren't, hopefully 2019 will see a better Christmas for you. But most importantly, we hope that your new year is fabulous and that you've you know started it out on a high and not on a low. Yeah. You know, um, I always say, if you're here and you wake up in the morning, you know, and you're breathing the air and you're able to walk, you have a roof over your head, you're already ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's that's the start of the high, yeah. right? And if you started low, change your mind and get up there and that's make right. it happen. Exactly. <laughs> well, Absolutely. If you start low, you have nowhere to go but up. Uh, okay. Exactly. That's exactly. That's exactly. That's exactly. <laughs> well, we have no place else to go but up because this is our first year anniversary <laughs> show. Yes, you know, it is. Last year, January, was the first show that we put out for Ruben's Nest. And, you know, we stepped out there, you know, stepped out in faith uh, that this would be a good thing, mm -hmm. um, continuing from the 20 plus years back when Sharon, Crystal, and I got together and started this. And it was a fabulous year. Yeah. It really was. We had some bumps. We had a little rough start, you know. And we may not have hundreds of subscribers like we wish <laughs> we, we did. No. But yes. that's to come. Yes. That's to come. That is to come. You know, and, and we're grateful for those of you who have subscribed. And, you know, please share. Please share. And the thing that helps to make a show great is its audience. Yes. And its audience telling us, what do you want to see? What do you want to hear? You know, what do you like? What don't you like? Leave comments. You know, leave comments. You know, we're open to that. We want yes. to hear from you. We really right, do. Right. You know? And so we're starting on a high. 
and we're going to make 2019 a fabulous year for Ruben's Nest. We right. have some things up our sleeves, which I don't have. <laughs> For this year that we sincerely hope that you'll enjoy. And with that, please stick around to the very, very end of the show because we have a real big surprise. Okay? Something big and bold and spectacular. You know. Alright? So you'll want to stick around for that. So in our you know, last show we talked about New Year's resolutions, etc. And we talk about looking forward, looking backwards to look forward. Mm -hmm. So, just a little bit, we we briefly touched over the, over the year um, a little bit of the history of Ruben's Nest, and you know, Sharon and Crystal and I, and you know, getting together and starting this out mostly as a a web page. So. Um, we thought we'd look backwards, you know, and talk about why we do the show and why we started it. And then, you know, with that, we can look forward to the things that we now as a new collective mm -hmm. can bring forth to our viewers. So quickly, Sharon, what do you remember? And Nothing. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think that was 20 years ago. <laughs> Cynthia mentioned she and I spent a lot of time together. We worked together. We met at work. Um, I found myself going to her little dungeon area quite often to kind of get away from where I was. Um, and we'd always talk about um, voluptuous women. Rubenesque women. Rubenesque was the word that we used, and that's, yeah. that was how we came up with Ruben's Nest, Nest um, off from Rubenesque women. And we'd always talk about we wish we had some way of, you know, meeting our, our audience of women. Because we used to see, um, you know, full figured women and their style of clothing and everything, and we just felt like. You don't have to be a skinny girl to be beautiful. And that was why we wanted to develop this website so we could share with, with other women about the concerns that we had about being, you know, um, full figured women, our style of clothing, our ideas, and so on. And so that's why we came up with things like. Um, exceptional, right. and it was E G G was egg. um what was it uh, and for egg, egg because we were three women in a nest yes. back <laughs> then on our original website. What right. were some of the other things? Oh, I was exceptional. Was to... Um, um, uh, let's see, exceptional. Egg. What excited, was it? excited. Um, excited. Um, God, see, this is yeah, I know. So long. Um, it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> It was yeah. the different areas of the website, right. different mm -hmm. categories, and we were right. using the word egg, and whatever it was, we would say, like I said, right. exceptional, and yeah. so on. Mm -hmm. um, that was kind of how we started. We started because we wanted to show um, that you're not alone. Mm -hmm. We could share ideas with other people, and th that was kind of how we, how we got it started. <laughs> so. Crystal wasn't able to be with us here, so the three of us actually did a little uh, video chat, reminiscing and talking about it. So let's take a moment and watch the video chat. So at long last, here we are, the Ruben's Nest Triad, the originals. It's been a while, ladies, hasn't it? It's been a while. Yes, it has. I can't believe it. It's been officially 20 years. I, I 20 remember, years. I was doing math in my head, and I remember um, I had met John, you know, Dr. John viewers, uh, who, even though he's a psychologist, he also dabbles in the IT world, you know. Um, I find that many people of, you know, uh, What's the word I'm looking for so that it doesn't sound too hoity-toity? But those with 
great mind <laughs> like to diversify and do a lot of different things. So um, I met him in 98 and actually 97, 98. We started talking about Ruben's mess, I think towards the end of 98. And then we really got it launched in 99. So it's a so, so let's go back. Yeah. So I didn't know Sharon, our new city. No. Sharon didn't At that know time, no. She knew right. Cydia. Right. But the three of us separately came together. At the same time, we had this idea for wanting to, to do an e-zine. Remember, that was a big deal. Online magazine. Yes. For yes. four-figured women. And it was going to figured women. health and fashion and you know, helping women to love themselves, that sort of thing. So that's where Ruben's Nest originated. And we had thrown names around and right, images around. Right. We, you know, right. we, we, had, we got it off the ground. We had got it online. We started blogging before that was famous, you know, before right. that, yes. uh, the end thing. And so we were really working on it. But I think at the time, I'm not sure about you, Sharon, we were all single mothers mm -hmm. um, right around in the 90s. Yeah. That was about the time that I became a single mother. A single mother. mother. <laughs> right. But it was about the time that you were rehabbing your own house, you and your sister? Um, oh, not, not yet. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Rehabbing my house. Right. Correct. That's right. kind of when I met you. And right. so we just all had these commonalities. We all were single moms. We had one kid. We were working on our, our dwellings. And, you know, we had this concept. And so... Backgrounds backgrounds, mom, dads, you know, um, uh, Crystal, just so our viewers know, because they know that Sharon and I worked together. That's how we met. Worked together. So I met Crystal at church and our parents were great friends. Right, right. And Crystal's brother, who is this amazing jazz pianist um, at the very tender age of what, seven or eight? Right. Used to, used to play for me, when I would sing at church, right, it just blew everybody away. Right, um, right. But we became <laughs> right as friends, and, and our and families I, just intertwined, yeah. just for years yeah. and years and years. And so, and but just, then life went on, and I moved away, right, um, for my bit for my company. And then you know, you ladies took on other career aspects, and you know, life just kind of got in the way, and the easing the original concept of Ruben's Nest just kind of lay dormant. It was like being a seed planted because, you know, life really took its challenges. Our parents got older. Some of our parents passed. Our kids were transitioning, all those kind of things. Careers were transitioning. And so then we had to just kind of, you know, put it to rest for a minute. But then Cydia in her, what is this, your fourth <laughs> Phoenix Rising? <laughs> Right. right. <laughs> Said, hey girls, let's you know, let's uh let's, let's order this start this up again. Great, great. So here we yeah. are, Sid. It was really something because, you know, it's something that I think was a really good part of our lives. Um, I think we really were able to express how we felt um about being um big and beautiful, you know. Um yeah. I and some modeling, uh, you know, and really kind of came into my own between the ages of 35 and 40 with the acceptance of, hey, you know, this is me. Right. Not going anywhere. Right. You know, I got to love it. Accept me for who yeah. I am. Exactly. How I am. And that's it. End of story. So um, with that, you know, when we started together with the Rubens Nest, we had some really specific, I think, goals in mind. Do you ladies think that we achieved those goals? Do you think we, you know, laid the groundwork for maybe, you know, I mean, I don't know how many people we, we had who actually saw uh, the easing because, you know, at that time we were, I don't think we were really tracking uh, viewers and there, was, there wasn't like subscriptions like there are today and, and a lot right totally totally different back then right uh, yeah so we weren't aware of who was watching who wasn't watching who you know right just trying with just trying to get the message out right and I kind of think that somebody had to have seen it 
because today we are just the, the media is proliferated with so many body positive websites. Women are finally coming into their own. Do you think that back then, the perception then in the 90s going forward of big people, the big community has changed radically a little bit? Or, you know, are we, are we finally arriving? What do you ladies think? I think we're still on a journey. I think we started, I'm sure we've planted seeds. We may not feel them mm -hmm. or know who they are, but I'm sure right. we impacted somebody. I think it's a process from uh, what it was. It's uh, being big and beautiful and full figured and active, not hiding in the closet, eating in the closet, you know, jazzercising and, and whatever else. We're not doing it privately we're we're out we're living out loud and we've seen many examples of people who are doing pole dancing and um yoga and right kind of, you know whatever right. and so and as a whole our society has become bigger over time you know how it used to be hard to find nice clothes, right. or clothes especially when you were younger finding clothes that's in true eyes, that is so true or something fashionable you know or you'd have to go to certain stores and pay Certain Ooh, stores, and now it's everywhere. And now it's everywhere because our society is bigger. So it's becoming more acceptable. Mm -hmm. um, those who were um, in the closet about liking fuller figure people are now more vocal. Coming and, around. Exactly. Yeah. You know, they no longer settle for marrying or dating a skinny person and then having a fuller figure person the in side. the wings, hiding. In, in, right, right, right. Yeah, it's on now, the side, in the right, dark. Right. We are now <laughs> being exposed as arm candy, you know. Right. Um, I like her, but I don't want people to know exactly. it's not like that anymore. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, no, yeah. that's a refreshing change because yeah. I remember us going places and we'd see things and I know, you know, we'd make comments um, when we would see you know, a bigger woman on the arm of some mind that man that was just like super fine. Right. And, right. Oh my God, that is so awesome. It's like so monumental. Right. Because that wasn't something that you saw all the time. Right. You know? and right. Even, right. You know, even with with us in our own personal lives, you know, sometimes it was a struggle. And the big guys, you know, of course, you know, they wanted little girls versus big girls. Um, so it was really hard, you know, to find somebody who found you attractive and the, the hoops we'd have to jump through in order to, you know, get somebody to even look in our direction, you know, I mean, it right. Was, so now it's really nice when, um, you know, you walk down the street and, and somebody and makes some, a statement. Yeah. You know, Mm -hmm. And, they look and, and you. you're now their eye candy. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And they're not afraid. They're they're not afraid. Actually, they're pretty proud to have you on their arm, exactly. holding hands and so on. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Exactly. exactly. And I think that's really great. Mm -hmm. So, um, you so know, I think we're great. evolving. I don't think we've arrived, but I think we're in a constant motion of evolution. And it's right. nice to see it happening. I think but, that's part, you know, yeah. life is like that where, you know, all aspects of life and, and, and you know, all different, um, you know, I, I, what do you call it? issues, concerns that, you know, the world has to face, you know, there, it, it's a constant evolution. Right. Revolution, right. All right. And there, there are people now, I mean, it's like even, even interracial dating, you know, has now, I mean, I turned the television set on and I'm like, oh, snap, look at that. You know, you're seeing it represented more and more. And why do we though? What is the big deal? So what someone is dating someone of a different size? So what they're... Right, who uh, cares? Right, you know, live your best I'd life. I'd say if they're happy. And you're not hurting anyone. Right. Right. What? Right. Just like I had a... Say again, no, I was going to say, just like I had a friend ask me about a uh, couple of the same sex, what did I think about it? And mm -hmm. I said, I don't care. I said, as long as they're happy, that's all I strive for. And if that's what what makes them happy, then I'm happy for them. So exactly. 
You know, Why even even that, you don't have to hide anymore. Right, right. That's our prejudices, our fears, our right. Whatever. Why are we projecting that right. on people? You know, and, that, that's correct. Evolution. That's the evolution, and I think it's yeah. that. But I think that when we started, I think we were part of, you know, the the, the movement, the movement. The, yeah, the, <laughs> that let people finally feel free enough to be. Right to accept themselves and get out there, you know? So as you said uh, a little bit ago, with regards to um, uh, like a Phoenix rising out of the ashes, you know, <laughs> um, you know, I'm constantly evolving, <laughs> you know, in my life, uh, which is a great thing, um, you know, and I'm going through phases and I realized, okay, so, you know, I might be a woman of age, but, um, I don't have to be old, you know, and um, right. never, never will be. And when I was out, uh, you know, and viewers have heard when I said, you know, I was laid off with a group of people uh, from my division and sort of floundering as to what should I do, what shouldn't I do. And um, my muse suggested, well, do something that you love. What do you love? Didn't you used to do? you know, uh, modeling and easing, do that, do that again, you know. Uh, and it got me thinking. And so I said, you know, why not? You know, why not bring that back? So I, of course, picked up the phone and said, ladies, you know, let's do this. It's time to revive. Yeah. <laughs> Ruben Ness, yeah. yeah. You know, let's get into this. And with technology, we don't have to just be a website and we don't have to just be in social media, um, right? so to speak. Uh, there's YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. You know, yay, YouTube. So and what's, the, what's that YouTube channel again? <laughs> that's Ruben's Nest at YouTube.com. Okay. Thank you. Thank so you. Ruben's Nest. Ruben's Nest. And, you know, people always ask, where did the name come from? And it comes from uh, Rubenesque. And that's how we refer to ourselves as being Rubenesque women. Because- Play on Rubenesque, Ruben right. Always painted very lush, full figured women and they were beautiful. And it was during the Renaissance when plus size women were considered- Was fashionable, was acceptable, was right. Day very acceptable and then somewhere along the line somebody decided skinny was in um and kind of pushed us out of the way but because of that right. I thought, okay ruben nest ruben nest oh yeah ruben's nest why not you know and we became uh, the women of the nest the women women of the, of the nest, nest. <laughs> yes <laughs> are still are very nurturing you know uh you know uh hatching new plans and new things so this new version of Ruben's Nest. Um, it's a year old and we, we've been having fun doing it. Um, do you think, it, you know, or I don't say should you think, can you compare what we did to what we're doing now? Same vein, you think we're achieving same goals or we have new goals that we should be working on? What do you think? I say new, I we have a, new goals. We go have ahead, Crystal, goals. sorry. And yeah, I think we are, we are, the old Ruben's Nest, the original, was the foundation. Okay. And I think from right. there, because we have to change with the times. We just talked about that. We have to mature. I was just thinking that. Yeah, we're more mature women now. We have different perspective, different life experiences. And so I think we were just building on the platform. I think we're, we're getting better and we're improving. Um, we may not, right. we, we still have to work hard, but not as hard as we did before we have all the technology that we do now. Correct. I agree. Correct. And I mean, which is a plus and a minus, whereas before we were all in the same city. We were in Los Angeles. It was a little easier for us. Right. Now right. we're all in California, but spread out. And so we use more technology than we did before. Yeah. That's well, true thank too. God for that. Thank God for technology. Uh, because otherwise, how would we be able to do this? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, 
viewers, it, it's, it was like pulling teeth. <laughs> so, you know, too busy, too many schedules to juggle and try and figure out, you know, all right, can you do it on this day? No, 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 that's not good for me. How about here? No, 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 that's not good for me. Yeah. But didn't we think yeah. once our kids were grown, this would be easier? Really? Yes. We were going to have we all thought. time, remember, ladies? We right. thought. And do all, well, you yeah. know, this is this is life begins again, okay? Yeah. You know, post children, okay? Yeah. So it seemed like it it became busier for us, and we thought it wouldn't be, but actually, it's fun now. You yeah. know, it yeah. really it's fun because we don't have that extra added responsibility of oh, right, shit. right. Because you know, I've got to, I've got to take, and you can pick and choose. I, yeah. I can choose to do this now versus. I got to go. I got to pick up the kid from daycare or I got to go to the market or I got to go to, you know, now we get to right. pick. Or I got to go to basketball practice. Exactly. Or, yeah. Exactly. Or music. Exactly. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Right. It's really, it's great. And I think that the ladies that we brought into it have brought uh, so much, you know. Yes. They are all very unique. You know, when we first started, we had Sandra and Jasmine, uh, Tamia and Shavondalyn. And, you know, again, there was diversity there, which is something that, you know, we want to be very inclusive. In um, lifestyle right. and age, because a lot of the women were, are now younger. Yes. And so they give us a different perspective. They help us to different think. Different perspective. Yeah. Yes. So we do that. And unfortunately, you know, life happened for Sandra and Jasmine. Uh, and they had to back away. Um, so the three of us left, you know, on camera, uh, Tamia and Shavondalyn, you know, are moving forward. But yet again, there is still, you know, complete diversity in age, you know, right. 30, you know, 40, 60s, you know, um, different backgrounds. And it's really been awesome working with them. They have such great ideas. And then we brought behind camera, we brought Michelle on board to be uh, our director, uh, who also has some great ideas and a completely different perspective because Correct. Michelle is standard size. And she's know. not full figure. Yeah. Not, not, at, not, all. Least bit. Mm -hmm. not at all. But she has friends who are. Um, and so she's exposed, obviously, you know, we're friends, so she gets it and she knows right. that there are issues that we face. I mean, the simplest thing, you know, like buying, buying a bra, you know, can be a challenge. You know? We should do a show on that. Buying bras. Yeah. Buying bra. That's buying a great a bra. Thing. So I have a question from, uh, from where we started to where we are now, are there still some foundational principles that we hold to? We want to teach people to be healthy. We're not saying eat cheeseburgers every day. That's not right. what we're saying. No. 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 We're saying this is your size. This is where your body, you know, water seeks its own level. Exactly. This is where your body has decided to remain. Mm -hmm. Find yourself healthy, active, right. beautiful, caring, giving, all those things. Are we still holding on to those foundational principles? Absolutely. And of course we are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because that's, that is, that's just fundamentals, you know, and um, it's, it's how I think we all live our lives. All right. Um, and I, I know that when we have different topics that we discuss, uh, we always throw that out there. Hey, we're not saying that you need to go out and lose weight uh, or go on some diet. I mean, I've tried all of the diets, and I will be quite honest with you, I've had lap band surgery. Okay? That's another show. Yes. Surgeries and, yeah. you know, what diets have you tried? Yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's a good show to do. Just Making a list, making a list. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> But it, you know, it's that thing, you know, we all have tried something different, but the key is stay healthy, eat healthy. You know, as, you know, I love in and out burgers, but I can't live on a steady diet of in and out burgers, you know? Um, Darn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love my in and out. Yeah. I'm sorry, girls. I'm the odd man out here. I, 
I do oh, not really? like that. Pl- I gave it three chances and could not. Really? Could oh, not. sorry for that, Crystal. Move <laughs> on. No. I don't get it. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> Come into town, and that's where they want to go is In and Out Burger. Oh my um, goodness! Yeah, but I actually there's another one that I do like even better, which um, I don't see. It's Rally Burgers. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. We had a lot of those uh, back east, back yeah. in in Ohio. Yeah. yeah. I like Rally Burgers. They were really good, and their fries are the best. Rally's good too. I like their French fries. Yeah. yeah. That's them. that's 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 my poison is hamburgers <laughs> and everybody's French fries. French fries. Like whenever we go out to dinner, if fries come with the meal, Sharon gets mine. Because <laughs> I, I, like, I, like I get it. I yeah. get it. Yeah. But back to, you know, what I was saying, it's true. You know, um, we've all tried different things, but we have to stay healthy. And that's something that we want people to understand. We also want them to get that um, our show isn't, you know, um, just fluff. You know, there's a lot that we are trying to bring. Yes. There are a lot of issues out there that people are still dealing with. Um, on our next show uh, for February, because it's the month of love, we're going to uh, talk about issues concerning love in general, dating, um, and some intimacy issues. Because that exists still. You know, there are a lot of women who are embarrassed uh, about being with someone because they don't want to be seen. And, and it's like, I, I always used to joke and I always used to say, um, ladies, you know, if you paint a barn black, it's still a barn. You know? Uh, there you go. Yeah. So being in the dark, wearing black clothes, it's not doesn't make you slender. No. Make you slender. There you go. No, it does not. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. embrace yourself. So we still, you know, try to get a lot of those things out there uh, to our viewers. And I think yeah. what's important for them to know, even though we, it, you remember back in the day, it was BBW. Yes. Three beautiful women. That was it. Yes. So now the terminolo- terminologies are full figure, plus size, fluffy, plush chubby, chubby, ch- you know, there's different, mostly full figure or plus size. Right. Is whatever right. one is going by now. BBW is right. kind of going by the wayside, just a little. A little the bit. older generation knows, yeah. yeah. But yeah. our viewers need to know we don't just focus on BBW and full figure. I, I mean, our, our conversations and our topics and our approach is broad. Very. You know? So it's not, you know, it's focused on full figure but it's a very broad topic so you brought up your your show for february and it's talking about love and those kind of things i think now's a good time to quickly mention along with that that we're starting a promotion that's going to run through february about um loving yourself Mm -hmm. and you know we want people to show off how you love yourself exactly in beautiful lingerie. It's going so. to be it's going to be fun um, and I think I think you viewers are going to enjoy it. It's it gives us a little bit of interaction and um, I'm just really excited. I'm so excited. excited. Me too. Yeah, yeah, I want to get the public involved. So I'm looking forward yeah, to that. I'm super that excited. event. So, um, we're going to roll out more details on the Facebook Yes. So people should follow us at um, Ruben's Nest on Facebook and R-U-B-E-N-S-N-E-S-T and, you know, start looking for information for February show, for our, our, our uh, Love Yourself promotion and whatever else is coming up. What else yeah. is coming up, Sid? Oh, we've got, yes, we've it got is. Stuff up. You know, March in March. March is Women's Month, so we've got some good things coming up. We're going to have some really awesome women um, on the February show. We have a guest, uh, a, a woman who wrote uh, a book and actually does classes on love language. Mm. And, uh, okay. Yeah, we, and Nicole, who was uh, one of our guest hosts in, at Christmas, uh, she is going to come back because she took the class on uh, Love Like a Boss. So we're going to talk oh, about Oh, lovely. Yeah. Excellent. 
And uh, then we're going to have, you know, some other little fun things that I think everybody's going to enjoy. So uh, everybody's got to tune I'm excited. I am too. It's going to be a great show. It's going to be a great I am show. too. Yeah. Ladies, so, it's been a great pleasure knowing you for all this time and all working on this All project. these years. So, yeah, yeah I'm and excited. still growing. Forward. You know, you know what's really a good thing um, and kind of proves a point for me, um, you know, a lot of times women get together and try to work together and for one reason or the other, it just doesn't gel. They don't gel or something happens and then they all blow up at each other and then nobody ever talks to anybody ever again. And that's never been the case with us. You know, we, no. yeah, we have all remained really close friends, um, able to pick up where we left off, you know, uh, and Chris, you went off to the East coast and we were still here, but we were still in touch, you know, we so, actually right. we flowed and it was yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we got our kids have come up along the way and, you know, we're able to share, you know, mom stories and help each other out, you know, Oh, are you going through that too? You know, so <laughs> it's, it, it has been a joy, it has been a pleasure, and it's been a tremendous honor, you know, to be a uh, part of this wonderful triad. And I'm glad we get this opportunity. You know, a lot of people don't have that opportunity to come back around. That's no, true. That's know, true. And it's wonderful. And um, we've got, I, we really need to come back and do this again. We need to actually do it in person. It would be great if the three of us hosted the show. Um, so we have to think about that. Maybe in March, you know, you know. Maybe. Maybe we should do that in March and then we just host the show. That would be awesome. I love but that idea. Like need, old time. Yes, exactly. We need to, we need to do this again too. And just, you know, reminisce. I'll have to go, I'll have to go find my old nest. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know if we could do a show, show girls, because I think we would spend too much time with those little private jokes, laughing, <laughs> just cracking up. I don't know how much we would get recorded. I don't how know. much, how, how right, how productive we would be. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's why I said I have to go find my old nest. Remember the three nests we were sitting yes. in back in the day. Yes. 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 <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for taking time to at least do this interview. Um, we'll have it on uh, the show coming up uh, end of January. And I know people are going to enjoy this because it's all about the love. And there's plenty of it. It here. is. And, it is. and uh, I love you too. Me and, too, and girls. I, no, and we just have to continue to keep on and keep moving forward. Uh, not everybody takes up the gauntlet to bring, you know, uh, change. And I, I couldn't have picked it up with two better women than you two. So, oh, you know, thank you. Just to us. All right. Thanks, ladies. Okay. Thanks, we'll guys. Later. Take care. Take care. Right. Bye. Bye. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I love history. So I love <laughs> beginnings and how things start. So, but... Or I should say in addition to on our last show we talked about the origins of resolutions and I hope you remembered it I hope you saw it and if you didn't please pause right here and go watch the other one and catch up, catch up. Catch up. And come back and then you'll know okay. so um, you know we talked about some of the most popular things that people talk about for resolutions when before you know the clock strikes midnight you know what all the good things that they want to plan to do for the new year and we know the biggest one that anyone would do is focusing on your health. Mm -hmm. And which is something we should think about all the time. And it shouldn't be just the renewal of every year, but just a constant everyday thing. So with that said, we were talking about some of the healthy things that people do. You know, the losing the weight, stopping whatever your bad habits or your addictions are, whatever those things are, cleaning out, cleaning up, you know, all that good stuff. And so one of the best things that one of the things that we did and we talked about was um, and amongst ourselves were, you know, what are some of the things we did before? And we talked about uh, cleansing, you know, cleansing. And I talked about colonics. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And we had a professional to come on and talk with us. I love, 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 love her. I've been to her. I've done my colonics. I've had friends and family to come along and we've done our colonics and we feel better for them. And it's uh, a healthy process and a lot of people don't know about it. And a lot of people have had scary experiences. We talk about that. You'll mm -hmm. see. And not so good experiences. But um, it's something that I think, you know, research it. Check it out and see if it's something for you. Um, and we'll have Dr. Dini come on and share. And what I love about Dr. Dini, Dini is she explains everything so clearly, so precisely. With great understanding. Of it. With tremendous understanding and passion because she herself <clears throat> went through, you know, um, some health issues and which led her to, you know, colon hydrotherapy treatments. And I think people have the wrong misconception. So this is going to open up your eyes because yes. it sure opened up mine. Yes. Uh, <laughs> as you'll see in our interview. So here's Dr. Dini Leon Robbins from the Inner Health Center speaking to us about colon hydrotherapy treatment. Take it away. Good morning. And, well, and welcome <laughs> to the show, Dr. Dini. It's so nice for you to take time out on New Year's Day to uh, be with us. I know, that's awesome. Awesome. So, <laughs> on our last show, um, Dr. Dini, we talked about New Year's resolutions and we wanted to get some information um, because the seems like the most popular resolution has always been I'm going to lose weight I want to get healthy I, I, I want to be fit and fabulous in the new year and there's so many things that people will try some of them um, are not are healthy the healthy process and some are not so we wanted to actually focus on a few different healthy processes that uh, we can offer our viewers if this is something that they're wanting to do. Um, and colonics is one of those things that I feel, because I've had it, to me has had it, yeah. that are really good ways to kind of get ourselves started. So rather than the two of us sit and talk about our experiences, we said, let's, let's talk to an expert. So Dr. Dini, exactly. tell us, tell us about yourself first. Well, my name is Dini Leon Robbins. I'm a holistic health practitioner. I'm also a student of naturopathy right now. So I will be a natural doctor in the next few months after I pass the awesome. <laughs> I've been doing colon hydrotherapy for almost 23 years now. I got into it originally because I myself was sick when I was 19 till I was about 26. And uh, what they would call now as IBS or IBD, which is irritable, irritable bowel syndrome, um, they didn't have a so-called cure for it back in those days because I got sick before everybody found out that they were going to get sick from fast food, Diet Coke, caffeine, and things like that. So I kind of was on my own for seven years, and then I got colonics through someone. I had no idea what it was, and it changed my life. So I've had my clinic. Uh, we do everything, every form of detoxing in our office from liver cleanses to lymphatic cleanses to hyperbaric chamber to oxygenate your entire body with cancer. Anything you can imagine we can help you with. But oh, colonics, that's wonderful. Colonics is the beginning of everything because mm -hmm. if you – don't go to the bathroom on a regular basis, what's happening is those poisons are accumulating in your colon over time. So if you guys want to ask specific questions or I can just go into my spiel, you tell me what you want. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, first of all, wow. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, that's a long time that you've been doing this and this is awesome. And, um, you know, who knew? I know that way back uh, many years ago, um, as you said, there wasn't really a practice for colonics, but I know people have always been using laxatives uh, mm -hmm. as the form of, okay, I'm going to do a cleanse, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm going to take laxatives. But then you can well, overdo that. You can overdo the laxative uh, process and harm yourself uh, more than anything else. Um, also, um, 
enemas, another thing that people would do. Uh, again, you can overdo that, and that's not a great thing. So, you know, tell us how colonics, you know, have taken all of that, pushed it into the corner, and has actually become a real, very therapeutic process, a place to start. Because you sa as you said, um, you know, it's the beginning for, you know, your colorectal health and, and, and all your entire body for that matter. So yeah, go ahead, start talking and we'll pop in questions as we go. <laughs> okay. So if you eat three meals a day and you don't go to the bathroom, meaning poop three times a day, where do you think it's going? So it's, it's going up. Correct. It accumulates over time. So what people don't realize is they keep saying, oh, well, I'm regular. I go to the bathroom every single morning. Well, are you only eating one meal a day? Because we're, most people are eating three meals a day. So if you're not doing three very large sausage-type poops three times a day, you have an accumulation of one to two meals per day, per month, per year inside of your body. And all diseases start in the colon. Mm -hmm. Every single disease that there is, because the colon is the part of the body that absorbs the water, the fats, and the proteins, and then it gets rid of whatever the body doesn't want, which is your, your fecal matter. So what people have to understand is you can do a juice cleanse, you can do a diet, you can do whatever you want, but if you're not going to the bathroom on a regular basis, you're actually not absorbing any nutrients at all and you're becoming more toxic over time. This is the reason why we have so many autoimmune diseases and cancers and diabetes. It's just getting worse and worse and worse because we think, oh, we'll fast for 10 days and now we're going to be better. Here, let me take these laxatives. The other problem with what you had brought up with the laxatives is <clears throat> people depend on things for outside stimulation. So when you drink coffee, tea, yeah. soda, chocolate, or cigarettes, not only are you dehydrating yourself, but you're creating a physical muscular contra a contraction of your colon. So the colon doesn't work on its own anymore. It just waits for the outside stimulation. Oh. So then over years, that'll stop working, and then you have to start taking stool softeners, laxatives, metamucil, citrusol, and this is all synthetic stuff that's actually hurting your liver and kidneys in the long run. Yeah. So that'll only work for so long, and then you're going into being older, and now nothing's working, and then they start taking sections of your colon out because it becomes so blocked, and eventually you'll end up with a colostomy bag. So yeah. the bottom line is, Again, if you eat three meals a day, you must poop three times a day. This is your goal. If you want to be healthy, if you want to lose weight, if you want to do anything in this whole world, it starts in the colon. Then you would go up to the liver, start cleaning that out, and then eventually once that starts you know, balancing out and you are going more regularly, you're working on becoming more alkaline. I mean, there's so many different things we can go into, but the colonics <laughs> beginning of everything because once you're regular then anything else you do will actually start working okay first of all colonics have been around colon hydrotherapy since the romans and actually even before then egyptians so it's not something new they did have colonic machines in the emergency room till 1975 but they didn't see a real need for it because mm. they had so many pharmaceutical drugs that dealt with the symptoms and then it just kind of grew from there. So it became more of a financial reason versus a health reason. Mm -hmm. So here we are today. When I started getting colonics, there was only like three places in all of Los Angeles County I could go to. Now there's like a hundred, you know, mm -hmm. and this is because people, you know, are seeing more and more of a need of it. I do want to say, though, it's very important that you look at the credentials of the person, how much experience they have. And it doesn't matter if they've been doing it for 30 years. They could be doing it 30 years wrong. Yes. So you want to you know, hear about whether they're blasting the water in you or are they gently putting the water in you. Mm -hmm. We can go into that on another day about specifics of that. But we do have an IACT certified um, what I belong to is IACT, and the people who belong to them have rules that they have to adhere to, which is very important because I'd say probably almost every center around me 
isn't IAC certified. So they mm-hmm. kind of okay. go to a weekend thing and then they're colonic people and it's kind of sad. But yeah. we're getting it regulated. So eventually it'll be more legitimate. But anyway, back to the colonics. So the reason the colonics are so important is because you want to get your digestive tract on track, no matter mm-hmm. what. To lose weight instantly, you'll gain it right back. If you do colonics, you're going to start absorbing your food, the nutrients you need, and getting rid of what your body doesn't need. So by natural effect, you will lose weight. You'll have more energy. Your skin will start glowing. You will feel amazing. You'll have less arthritic-type symptoms because you're not in inflammation constantly. So this is the importance of it. So how many colonics does one do? It really depends on one. How much caffeine do you consume? How much bread do you eat? How much red meat do you eat? How clogged up are you? The average American literally goes to the bathroom two to three times a week. And they do. Really? Yes. And they don't know that that's not normal. If you start asking all your friends how regular they are, Uh if they go once a day, they think that's amazing. Really? (laughs) Yes, they think it's amazing. But I have more people that say, oh, you're supposed to go more than once or twice a week? I didn't know that. My whole life, it's been like that. My whole family's like that. And I'm just in shock all the time. The main thing people have to think about is how many times do I go to the bathroom? How much water do I drink in a day? Which I've taught you, Tamia. If you weigh 100 pounds, you must drink 50 ounces of water a day. And that's not water from tea that's not water from your coffee it's just water water. every cup of coffee or tea or soda or chocolate you eat or smoking cigarettes you have to drink an additional 24 ounces of water okay so back to the colonics so um i do it completely different than most centers do i'm all about very gentle um Mm -hmm. I'm not a technician, I'm an actual colon hydrotherapist. And so I'm, I'm kind of doing a whole nother spin, the people I train to be more like me, because I believe in one, educating you, but two, the experience should not be so intense that you're holding on your breath and waiting and painful, et cetera. It should be almost as if you're not feeling anything, but you sort of are feeling something because the more you relax, the more you release. So the water goes gently up inside of you as soon as we hit a blockage, which usually is gas, we release it. So the water goes up, release it. We use all disposable speculums. Everything's disposable in the room, so you can't get anything from somebody else. It's a two-inch little teeny child's tip, so that, again, isn't going to hurt you. And we're just putting triple filtered water in your system. You know, we get a lot of people saying, oh, you're going to take all the good flora out. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You're not taking all the good flora out because most people don't have a lot of good flora because they don't even eat anything that has flora to actually adhere to the dirty walls in your colon in the first place. We can have that on another day of specifics. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we do a little bit of reflexology on you and we stimulate, you know, by stimulating your liver, your gallbladder and your colon, and that helps remove the gas. So once you're on your back, you'll start defecating and, you know, the poop will start coming out a little bit more regularly. Your gas will come out. You should feel a little more empty and lighter and flatter when you walk away. So again, we teach you about hydration, nutrition, everything you need to do as well as anatomy and physiology. So you understand how your body works and how colonics apply to that. And you usually should do a minimum of a series of three within 10 to 12 days. And the only reason we say that is the farther you spread them out, the more gas you make and the less progress we make. Yeah. And Interesting. that's three for someone who goes at least once a day. Mm-hmm. So more, it's more for more people than our Americans with the American diet, they would do more of like six colonics, maybe 10 colonics, but it's something, it, it depends on the individual. And we can tell you on your first session, I try to get you out in the least amount because from the first colonic, I've taught you so much and you go right. home with a homework pack and you're so informed that you can make the decision to get better faster. So yeah. the more hydrated, the more things you listen to me about during that time period in between clonics, guess what? You're going to make more progress and three might be your number. So it's, it's not about me keeping you in the office to keep going. My goal is to educate you enough that you just fly. You come in, we clean you out, and then you come once every three months for maintenance and call it a day. You're doing fantastic. Wow, that was really great information. 
So, you know, after you detoxified your body um, and gotten rid of all of those toxins, now we're going to need some exercises to keep our lusciousness toned, right? That's right. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> so personally, what I like to do, um, I like to box. So um, I have those training. frustrations out. Yeah. 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 So it's like double duty. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, exactly. You know, having a bad day, yeah. so you sweat a lot and you mm -hmm. get your frustrations out, which is also a form of therapy as well. Yes, it is. <laughs> stressor and everything. Yes. Absolutely. I also like to hike. Um, if I don't hike, then um, I'll probably just go walking mm -hmm. or hit the treadmill. And those are just some of the things that I like to do. Um, I also, and free. Yeah. <laughs> also, right. If you right. have a gym free. membership. Right. That's true. That yeah. is true. Yeah. 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 And speaking That's of true. gym memberships, mm -hmm. for those of you who are perhaps a little more advanced in age and, you know, are not feeling as if, you know, some of the uh, the Zumbas or the, you know, the hiking Yoga. and the, yeah. you know, and, or are sort of out of your realm of mm -hmm. possibility so to speak which I don't believe really in that I think you know we can do whatever we put our minds to exactly. believe me okay um silver sneakers mm -hmm. if your insurance you know has it and you should look into it yes silver sneakers pays for your gym membership yes oh wow yeah mm -hmm. yeah I, I just awesome. it blew me away yeah all three yeah. My, all, yeah. my parent both my parents and my uncle all have gym memberships through Silver Sneakers. They didn't, What's have, the age didn't have to on pay that? for them. They I mean, just had to sign up. Just senior. sign up. It's it's senior meetings. You're in a 55, oh, okay. you know, Sorry, 55 we don't and quite, over. We don't quite qualify. <laughs> I know. Not so, yet. Not yet. <laughs> but it's fabulous. So, you know, senior, senior... I know by some standards is 55 and over, mm -hmm. but and this year. there Maybe you go, I'm girl, qualified. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. LA Fitness, 24-Hour Fitness, those are the two gyms that I go to, mm -hmm. and they have classes. Mm -hmm. So, oh, and, the classes. Class, and the classes are geared to, you know, getting you going, yeah. and, you know, and they're at your level, mm -hmm. which... I think is really important Very that if you are on an exercise program that it's at your level mm -hmm. you know um, whether you're a beginner so intermediate mm -hmm. you know or expert or if you've had surgeries I mean for instance when I started with you know silver sneakers I had had my hip replaced your knee my knee replaced <laughs> body you know, coming over body here <laughs> And you know, there were some things that I just wasn't quite ready to be able to do. Mm -hmm. And I loved it that they had uh, the same exercise, but there was some modified, mod you know, modified for mm -hmm. yes. okay if you can't if you're a beginner or if you can't if you can't do it standing up sit in a chair yes mm -hmm. you know chair if you need if you can't to. raise your arm do this you right. know so I love it the silver sneaker classes are the best you know um, I go to a swim class in the morning mm, well let, let me rephrase that I was going to. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a new See, year, so we can start yeah. with our new year. And then it got cold. Um, <laughs> it got cold, yeah. and uh, and so that just you know sort of killed kind of that. killed <laughs> killed the idea of being in a bathing suit and in water in the morning. So, but you need to go where there's a heated pool. I go to right. a, a location where there's a heated pool. Okay. Yeah. Love, this love, pool love. actually is heated. I it, mine was more about because quite as it's kept. I am lazy. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. No. I'm no. Not. <laughs> if I can find a simple yeah. way, I will. And for me, the but I simple, get that. Yeah. yeah. It was just about, we you know, do. you get up, you get in the pool, and then because it's so close, I, I just threw a jacket on and mm -hmm. I could come right home in my swimsuit and come and shower here in the house, you know, take my time. I didn't have to be bothered with, you know, uh, the, the gym room. You yeah, know, the locker yeah. rooms and stuff. So when it got cold, it's like it was too cold for me to do that. And then mm -hmm. I'd have to stop, get yes. dressed. And that's too much. Whatever yeah. excuse me. <laughs> that's why 2019, we don't I'm work going back. Yes. We're going back. Yes. We're going back. Yes. I, I stare at the sign as I drive by 24-Hour Fitness. I'm yeah. going in there today. <laughs> yeah. And I drive by. <laughs> Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm going to put my bag in the car. Okay? There you go. That is 
what you really need to do yeah. if you are going to a gym yes. you know, is is put your bag in the car because you yes. have if no you excuse. go home first you'll never make it back exactly. out. So no. that was my, what I was guilty of. Maybe yeah. we should have accountability partners. And there you go. That yes. way too. So, so true. true. Hold you so true. Yes. Did you go? Did you put the bag in? You know. <laughs> true. <laughs> that's that's true. Idea. I'm just saying. That's true. All right. Or are we back to the great at motivating other people? So I would need a I would need a partner. Somebody to call me. Are you going? Are you going? Because I'm great at motivating other people. So the question is now: Are you there? There. That's the part. Show me a picture. Show me a picture. FaceTime. FaceTime. Face time. There, there you go. go. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, you know, tennis shoes in the car. That's right. Because then, just if we, we, we talked about the free thing, just yeah. take a walk. Right. Who doesn't right. like walking the mall? That's walk true. the mall. Yes. Window shop. Yes. That's yes. true. Or park yeah. further. Park than further. Than I do yes. do that. The grocery that is store. Yeah. Parking yeah. at the end of the parking lot instead of right near the. <laughs> so far to get in. <laughs> I'm going to walk in the mall. So, there you go. So, but you know, we're all about health here. Yeah. You know, that's the one thing I always want to say, and I always reiterate, you know, every time we talk about uh, exercise programs, diet, cleanses, uh, hot yoga, whatever it is that we suggest, it's all about being healthy. Mm -hmm. yes. It has nothing to do with should you lose weight? Should you not lose weight? It's all about Help. what you want what's yeah. and what's for healthy you. for you. For you, okay? exactly. So, you know, let's just keep that in mind. In December, Victoria's Secret's fashion show aired on TV and had attracted criticisms for its lack of body diversity on the runway. Mm. Mm. It faced additional scrutiny because of comments made by the brand executives before the taping <laughs> Look up at them. Talk, talk to them. <laughs> hey, I, you know, when we first started this website, we didn't have the camera. The, the camera, okay? I know, I know. When we first started, it was all vaccine. So it's like, okay, remind me. Look up, Sharon. <laughs> you want to look up and let them yeah. know. Yeah. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> so go on. So yeah, before yeah. the taping... Because of comments made by the brand executives before the taping referencing their marketing strategy of not including plus size or transgender models because that's not who they are selling to. Mm. However, even before the hashtag I'm no angel, hashtag we are all the fantasy, we are hashtag we are all angels and hashtag beauty beyond size has emerged to challenge the narrow beauty and body ideas promoted by, <clears throat> sorry, I, I'm, I'm getting a little cold here, so bear with me. Um, <laughs> Pick up where I'm living. Promoted by the show's <laughs> casting. Mm -hmm. You got it. Um, and so this year, Ashley, or I should say last year, Ashley Graham, uh, Marquita Pring, Danielle Brooks, uh, Nicolette Mason and other voices in the body positive conversation have chimed in uh, in sharing photos of themselves out on social media, their own personal social media, each other pages, mm -hmm. um, to demonstrate that people of size uh, are sexy. Okay? Of all sizes. Of all, all sizes. sizes. We can all be sexy. Yeah. Okay? Yes. So, you know, I was excited by that. And I thought, wow, you yes. know, this is something that we talk about. That's our mission here at Ruben's Nest. It you is. know, we're here to empower, to enlighten, encourage the plus size community. Yes. That's that's yes. that's always been our mission and our yes. goal. Yes. Yes. Um, and we're here to support body positivity and self love. Uh, again, that that's like at the very tip top of why. We do this show. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, it's That's also we are. exactly, and it's also who we as individuals are. Well, right? Absolutely, our yeah. experiences too. We yeah. live this. We yes. live this on a daily mm -hmm. basis. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. so you know when we come across individuals or corporations 
um, companies that use their power to promote such uplifting beliefs and streams of consciousness, uh, we give shout outs and we give kudos. Definitely. All right. Uh, last year on one of our shows where we did a lot of shout outs, we, sh we gave shout outs to a lot of different companies. And we had shared one from Ulta Beauty um, that was by far one of the most you know, amazing campaigns, mm -hmm. you know, where we are beautiful and it showed women, uh, ages, colors, ethnicities, uh, you know, um, in all of their natural beauty. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even though Ulta Beauty is a cosmetic yes. company and store, mm -hmm. you know, it still said we are beautiful, you know, as we are pretty much, is yes. what they were saying. You know, and this just enhances that beauty. Enhances. It just enhances. It enhances that it's natural, God-given beauty that you have. Yes. All right. So, again, um, I want to give kudos and shout-outs to Danielle Brooks. Love, love, love. Yes. She's a brand ambassador <laughs> for Lane Bryant's Cacique, mm -hmm. which, for those who are watching who don't know, yeah. yes. Cacique is the lingerie line yes. at, for Lane Bryant, uh, for Lane Bryant mm -hmm. specifically. And the um, she shared on her Instagram and her Facebook their new campaign. Mm -hmm. All right. If you haven't um, seen it, check it out. Yeah, well, we're going to show it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that was really, and it was released ahead of the Victoria's Secret show. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it, it's you know what do they call it? Count, count, uh, point, counterpoint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so it was wonderful to be able to see that. And then you see the show, and I have nothing against Victoria's Secret. Not at all. I mean, at all. They have beautiful things. Mm -hmm. the, their commercials are lovely. The, mm -hmm. the models are lovely. But it's time. You know, it's time, Victoria and company. It's time for you <laughs> to join the body positivity movement. Yes. Mm -hmm. Join the 21st century with the rest of us. Yes. Right. And recognize and realize that all women, all are sizes, are beautiful. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. And it's time that you open those doors, you know, and start making some of your beautiful lingerie for women of size. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, you know, just saying. So I wanted to share, you know, Cacique's uh, recent campaign, and then I have a little something after that mm -hmm. to share with you. Mm -hmm. So, did you love it? I absolutely <laughs> loved it. Okay, I think it, it's fabulous. And right. what I love is that it's not just women of size, but it's women of, you know, representing all. Yes. Okay, women um, with a leg, that the one woman who had yes, a she's leg. she's an amputee. And, mm -hmm. and she's an amputee. I thought that was like, oh my God, yes. Yes. You know, uh, they face scrutiny on a daily basis as well. Mm -hmm. So... To that end, <laughs> believing in exclusivity, uh, and we, the ladies of the nest, yes, yeah, inclusivity. Um, I was just being corrected. Thank you, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> you got a chance to meet Michelle. She is yes. wonderful. Thank you. She keeps Last us going. Time, yeah. uh, we're not going to bring you out. We won't bring you out. But thank you. Side. So with the uh, inclusivity, uh, we turn cameras on ourselves. We did. All right. And we are joining our sisters by bearing it all, so to speak. <laughs> so here are the ladies of the nest, 
including our founder, one of our founders, Sharon. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy the picture. Yes. Wow. So, that's us. <laughs> In all of our glory. In all of our glory. God, very beautiful glory. <laughs> We, we, know like. we know, we know, we know some of you, you know, some of you, hopefully your husbands, <laughs> boyfriends, you know, um, aren't drooling. <laughs> we think it's pretty sexy. Yes. <laughs> it is. Yeah, we think so. But that's oh, okay. But you know All of that. But you know what? It starts with how you feel about yeah, yourself. Exactly. Yes. Internal. On the inside. Yes. Right. There, there you go. go. Absolutely. Yes. There you go. Yeah. And we so. all feel very beautiful. Yes. All right. Even we are, yeah, we are yeah. beautiful. beautiful. We confident. absolutely are. Exactly. Very confident women. Yes. So um, with that said, we'd like to invite all of you. You know, I'll follow. You support us. You go to our Facebook page. You leave your little comments and your likes. But now we want you to put some skin into the game. There you All go. right, there it is. Take one for the team. Okay, <laughs> take one for the team. If we can or do, it, do it. You, you can, can do, do it. it. <laughs> so we know it can be scary, but you can come up with a, a nice, comforting, warm, welcoming environment within your own space. Yes. Have your loved one take a picture. Yes. Okay. And we want you to post photos of yourself. Be creative. Yes. But along with the with the photos, we need you to give us a little statement that says, love me because I am, or love me as I am because. That's actually the better. That's that's better English, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It's more poetic. <laughs> Swing never hurt nobody. <laughs> 250 words or less, okay, is what we need from you. And just to make it fun, mm -hmm. we're making this a contest. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Sweeten the deal a little. Yeah, sweeten the deal to encourage <laughs> you to jump in. And like I said, we're doing this for body positivity. Yes. All right. We need to join together to let the world know we're here. Yes. We aren't going anywhere. No. Okay. Never are we going away. Mm -hmm. For way too many years in fashion, you know, once upon a time, it was cool for women to be Rubenesque. They were revered. And then somewhere yes. along the line, somebody said, oh, let's cinch that waist in and put a corset on it wrap it tight and, you know, make them skinny so they can't breathe, you know, and we walked around looking like penguins because we couldn't breathe. <laughs> in the Jessica Rabbit era. It, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Something, you know, and people thought that was beautiful. Um, and, you know, and then there was the era of Twiggy where mm -hmm. people thought being, True. you know, this big right. was, right. you know, being yeah. gaunt and, you know, and I think that even traveled upwards through, what is it, the goth phase. Mm -hmm. So we've had all these fashion trends and not one of them made women look natural mm -hmm. and just be who they were. Right. Yes. All right. Right. Yes. And those of us who are not in the fashion industry, we look at these catalogs, we look at these commercials, we look at these women on screen, um, when we're shopping, the mannequins, all of it, mm -hmm. and think, I wonder what I'd look like in that outfit. Where's my representation? You know, there's nobody right. up there that looks like me, me. so right. I can't, you mm -hmm. know, you, you've got to represent, mm -hmm. all right? We need to be seen, all right? Mm -hmm. So, join with us, be seen, all right? And we have some fabulous prizes, that we will share on the website on our not on, oh that's right the website is coming by the way but on our Facebook page and it'll be on the website all right all the details coming up look for it February first we're gonna break the news we're giving you just a little bit of advance warning so you can start getting all of your pictures together yes we want you to submit the pictures to our email just send them to us a JPEG file. Um, and your statement, and you'll send that to info at rubensnest.com in the subject line, body positivity contest, all right? Mm -hmm. But again, look for all the info on Facebook, and then when we have the website, we'll have all of that as well. We will post your pictures, 
and we're going to have three winners and hopefully have them on the show with us in March. Wouldn't that be you know, nice? We'd love to have that. So, that's our big exciting news. <laughs> All right. Thank and you for staying to the end. And thank you for staying till the end. I'm okay. already excited. I know. <laughs> We appreciate your always coming and watching us. Remember, you know, click, subscribe, and like, and comment, and make sure that you share Please do. our page with your friends. The more, the merrier. We want everybody to be a part of the Rubens Nest community. Absolutely. Not yes, just yes. because you're plus size either, no, but no. because you're beautiful and gorgeous mm -hmm. and we want you to be on our you know on our team yes all right yes. and that team is positivity yes beauty love for self all right yes. Yes. so make sure you get out there and you live your best life and be your best self be the self that you want to be not who others think you should be all right right and as always, from us, you know, here in the nest, go out, do something that's uniquely yours, and we'll see you the next time. Sharon, thank you for being here. I enjoyed myself. I know. I know. I know. But I'll make her come back. So, see you guys next time. Enjoy. Go out. Be unique. Be fabulous. Be Rubenesque. From us at the nest. Bye. Bye. Bye.